Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ollie from Flight Comp, and today I'm going to give you a, a quick look at the Optimus Sport from CCM Models. Um, the Optimus Sport is a just slightly updated version of the Optimus, and it features a new fuselage pod boom and a new tail group. So this is the uh, rear of the, of the boom. It's an interesting design because the rudder sits forward of the elevator. Typically we see a uh, rudder sitting right on top of the elevator or the elevator forward of the rudder. But in this case the elevator sits back here and the rudder goes up here. And there's a lot of really nice detail in this part. You can see all the edges are super crisp and clean and the quality of this part is just fantastic. Um, this is the horn for the uh, rudder, or the ball length for the rudder control horn. And then we have two carbon posts that the rudder slips on, and then you just use some tape to fix the rudder in place. And then back here we have two mounting locations for the elevator and the uh, elevator um, control horn, which is pre-installed in the fuse for you. And you just use a screw to fix that onto the moving part of the elevator. Overall, the quality of these parts is just phenomenal. Um, again, uh, I think uh, formerly CN, now CCM, um, they, they're really, um, the work they do is just amazing. Really ahead of the game as far as quality and fit and finish. Uh, this is where the boom meets the fuselage, and it's a super tight fit. It fits very well, which is a bit of an improvement over the, uh, the previous version. Here's the rear of the uh, fuselage pod. It comes sort of pre-scuffed and ready for gluing. And then uh, here's the fuselage pod. Virtually identical to the original pod. With the biggest change being that the uh, shape back here is different to accept the new boom. And the pylon for mounting the wing is much lower. So I think that would have a benefit for F3J as far as launching goes and rotation on launch. But for F5J, Maybe not so much of a benefit, although in general the fuselage is composed of less material so it could make for uh, lighter parts. Let's have a look at the tail group now. Here's the uh, vertical fin or rudder. This is a solid core uh, part, a row cell cord carbon part. Um, has a metal ball link pre-installed for you. The finish on this is very good and the, the level of detail on this part is extremely high. The fit, the fit onto the boom is excellent and it's a very light part. Okay, let's have a look at the elevator. Again, we have a solid core part. The top surface and the bottom surface. We have the mounting holes that mount the elevator to the boom and the hole for the um, control horn. All this is pre-done and the fit onto the boom is excellent. Very nice elevator. Here's a wing tip for this model. I'm actually putting this one together. It's a F5J Lite. And I've already shown you guys what the wings on the Optimus looks like so there's not much new there. I have installed a uh, Bluebird BMS 115 HV in the wing. The nice thing about the uh, Optimus is that the control horns, the brass control horns, are already pre installed. So it makes installing the servo super quick. And I used all the included linkage with the kit, and I just have a uh, RC Solutions um, servo frame holding the servo in. And I did install the uh, carbon Rosell cross mount that stiffens the servo bay that they provide. And I just used a couple of drops of goop, one here, one here, and one on the servo to hold that in place. So it'll pop out pretty easily. And then here's the uh, root detail. That hole for the uh, servo wire is pre-routed from the factory. And then we have carbon alignment pins. So I'm actually going to build this model, and the next thing I'm going to get to is um, installing the servos in the pod, which go here on the F5J model. They would go in the nose if it was a 3J, and I'll be using a couple of uh, Bluebird 105 HVs, and I'll be using the included um, ply servo tray that goes in here. 
You do have to trim this up to fit inside the fuse and obviously cut the holes for the servos. So I'm going to do that and uh, I'll also be um, installing the boom onto the uh, pod. So this will be basically just like a couple of quick um, build videos on this model. They won't be, it won't be as uh, uh, in-depth as some of the other build videos I've done because I feel like I've already gone over the Optimus in other videos. But I will highlight some uh, key features and hopefully um, get a flight report and see how the uh, new tail works. Alright, here's a a uh, closer look at the boom. You can see that uh, the push rods are pre-installed and I've actually trimmed them up a, a bit to fit the uh, servos. But these push rods are carbon with uh, plastic sleeves and they do come pre-installed from CCM. Alright, I have the uh, servo tray tacked in place and the servos just uh, in place. I had to do a lot of trimming on the uh, servo tray to get it to fit and obviously to cut the holes for the uh, servos. Uh, you can see that I've, I'm using uh, fairly short throws on the servos and I've clearanced the uh, clevises so I can get more throw. This way I'll just get as much uh, a resolution and power out of the servos as possible. And then I have also trimmed back the uh, pushrod sheaths and I've cut the push rods down where they need to be and sanded the ends. Uh, I did this obviously before I glued the um, pod to the boom because it's just going to make everything uh, much easier uh, to assemble when I um, glue the push rods to these couplers. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to glue the uh, pod to the boom and the coupler, the push rods to the uh, couplers and actually uh, epoxy the servo tray in all at the same time, just one shot and um, to help me keep the uh, tail level I will mount the center panel too to make sure that the horizontal is level with the uh, the center panel so uh, we're gonna uh, you know get all that stuff glued up and then I'll show you how it looks so here's the uh, servo tray epoxied in and I also have the uh, push rod couplers epoxied onto the carbon, uh, uh, carbon push rods. Servos are screwed in and there's a little uh, piece of cardstock uh, shim there just to hold that push rod away from the side of the fuselage. And that basically finishes up that part. I've epoxied uh, the boom onto the pod. All this epoxy is really high quality uh, 24 hour cure epoxy. And then uh, the last thing I'm going to do is just put the center panel on and uh, block this up and make sure that the uh, elevator is level with the center panel while it cures. So I have the uh, boom epoxied to the pod and I've just um, blocked up the center panel and I have some just batteries in the nose just to uh, act as weight to keep it level. And I've made sure that the uh, horizontal stab is perfectly level with the center panel. And all I have to do now is just uh, wait uh, 24 hours for this to cure up. And we can move on to installing the servos in the center panel and getting the motor in and some of the other uh, electronics. But overall, a really easy build. Here's a close look at the um, rudder linkage. You can see the screw right there that holds the elevator control horn onto the elevator. So that's it for part one of the Optimus Sport. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, keep your eyes on our YouTube page and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.